So I ordered some new seat belts from LMC. We're gonna get those put in and I'll give you my thought and opinion on them and try to get a few other little things done. Come on along. Well, now that I got all the, the painting done, the big stuff, I got all these a bunch of little things that I needed to take care of. Uh, one of which is getting seat belts put in. I have, uh, I ordered a set through LMC. They're just a universal seat belt, just a lap belt. And pretty nice unit, pretty well built, I like it. The only problem was it was the wrong color. It was tan, but the interior's this color here. This is a saddled hand. So all of the, it's a GM color. Uh, the seat cover was more of a buckskin, a little bit lighter. But this was even lighter than that. So I had to color this. So I used this SEM plastic paint, vinyl paint, whatever you want to call it, dye. So I painted these up to match. So at least it matches the rest of the plastics. This door piece here um, is the correct color. So this will blend with that nicely because it's going to be right there next to it. So we're going to put it in and this, I don't know if you notice, it's got just a flat tab this way and the seat belts mount flat. So this set comes with a bunch of hardware, but it comes with this angle bracket and that just bolts to the floor and then you can mount this square on the floor. And it came with bolts and washers and things. So you can mount it to a vehicle that may not have ever had seat belts. Uh, it's got big old washers, and nuts and bolts. So if you're gonna look for seat belts to put in a hot rod, these would work just fine. And I like it, they are nice. So anyhow, like I said, we're gonna have to bolt this to the floor and you can just use your existing, uh, existing seat belt bolt. And so that's what we're going to do here. I'll mount this, get all the other lap belts put in, and I'll melt some holes into the carpet so I can find these without tearing the carpet up. So for what I'm doing, I opted to change this bolt out. It's way longer than I needed to go through that bracket and through this. I didn't need it that long. So I got me a shorter bolt and I'm just using this Allen head bolt. It's a better grade bolt and it'll look cleaner. So the biggest trick here is just going to be clocking it to match the other side pretty close. You can always adjust these up and down and you can twist them a little bit too with that bracket on that floor bolt. I'll get the center belts in and tightened up and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so um, overall, they look great. They look really nice, they're clean, they look brand new. No matter what you do to old seat belts, you just can't make them look nice. They get dingy. And the plastic, you can always clean up, but the belting, it's just, I don't know how to do it. You can paint them. But I think that paint's just gonna scrape off, so. These weren't much money. Uh, I don't remember, I think they were like 20, 20 bucks a piece, 25 bucks, something like that. I could be wrong. I'll look. I'll put it down here. Um, and so the only thing, just not that I'm nitpicking, but these are a little longer than the originals. I think the originals would have sat back in here a little bit. So that's all right. Uh, the center belt, a little bit long too, but 
that's fine. Other than that, I think the interior's done. I did find the uh, uh, dome light switch here on this side wasn't working. I traced all the wires just to find out it was just that ground switch. So I got one of them coming. We'll get that in there, no, no big deal. But the inside, I can't think of anything. I think the inside's all done. Uh, the, the exterior, I got all my parts painted and I am going to get everything mounted on today. That, I already have the tailgate on, the hood I'll get on. Uh, but I still need to color sand everything. Uh, I did some sanding on the cab earlier. I, I need to go over it a little bit more. I never did finish it. And then of course the box, tailgate, the hood, all need some attention. It's not bad, it's just a bunch of little dirt nibs and things like that in there. So we'll get that done and exhaust. That's the next big step. So anyhow, let's see what we can do. In case you never got a look at the complete interior, 